Now we're going to get into some of the logical functions that are available in, in Google Sheets. This isn't quite like the programming we're going to do for the rest of the modules, uh, but it is, you know, it does give you some basic programmatic ability. Uh, we can do a little bit to kind of evaluate different decisions using these functions. Now we will be able to do more once we get into App Script uh, in the next module, but uh, for now you can kind of do some interesting logical things. So. Google Sheets has a lot of logical functions available. The big ones here are, you know, you have true or false, false values that you can use. Uh, and we'll, we'll look at how we can use those across these next few videos. Uh, you can use a count if that allows you to count things based on some particular matching criteria. Uh, you can also use a sum if, which is interesting because you can use that to add values together that match a particular criteria. Or you can add values together where another value in the row matches particular criteria. Uh, we'll show of how those can be used in another video. You can also use the if or the uh, to determine one of two outcomes, and then we have or and a not that we can use to kind of wrap different uh, evaluations together. We also have an if error function that we can use to identify if we run into a problem. Let's uh, let's actually resolve that. So the count if function allows us to count values that match criteria. So if we want to count different text values, uh, we can count basic straightforward text or numeric values pretty easily. But if we want to do some wildcards to match, you know, some variable text, we can use question marks for single characters and the asterisk for zero or more, you know, any character. Uh, so this is going to be useful if we want to just kind of look for particular words within a, a field or within a cell. Uh, we can use this count if to get pretty smart about how we count things in our, in our spreadsheet. We can also use a string to evaluate numbers. So if we want to say count everything where a value is above 10, we can just use the greater than symbol in 10, but we need to make a string or we need to make text from that uh, so that it can evaluate. And we'll show that in an example as well. You can use sum if to add values that match criteria. Uh, the cool thing about sum if is you can use different columns for adding as well as matching. So I can match text values and then add values together, which is going to be pretty useful for reporting later. Uh, kind of similar to count if. Um, we can also add several different results together to work uh, together, and we'll see how that that works out. So you know, if I want to know uh, sum where multiple things match, I can use uh, this sum if with adding the results together and we'll demonstrate that as well. If is pretty interesting because I can use if to uh, determine one of two different outputs and I can use multiple if statements together but uh, if I use an if function the first parameter is something that's going to evaluate to true or false something that's going to return a true or false value so I can say if you know a1 equals 5 then uh, output the second parameter or if not, output the third par parameter. So uh, if functions are pretty useful because we can use that to make decisions within our spreadsheet. And then or and a not, we can use these to kind of evaluate more complex logical uh, logical outputs. So uh, like or is true if any of the things, any of the inputs are true, any of these parameters are true, and and is true when all of its parameters are true. Um, not will change a true value to false or a false value to true and we'll take a look at how we can use the or and a not in another video as well. We also have a few other logical functions available. Uh, these ones are a little bit more, uh, a little bit less frequently used, but a little bit more complex. Um, if s allows you to evaluate multiple uh, evaluations and then get multiple outputs. So it, if s will give you uh, the ability to say if this thing, if this thing, if this thing, and then you can output particular values from that function. Uh, the switch allows you to take uh, switch from one value and, and choose multiple paths. We'll take a look at demonstrating that in a, in a straightforward video. And then is logical will give you a true value or a false value if the inputs or if the parameters are logical. And we also have this interesting count if s, which will allow you to uh, evaluate multiple ranges for multiple criteria. But we'll take a look at all of these in our videos coming up. Uh, you know, we'll get into some actual concrete examples and how we can use these before we progress into actually writing programs or writing scripts within uh, App Script. For now, though, thanks for watching.